So today we're going to take a photo of a little waterfall and we're going to set the camera so that the water is blurred. And in order for the water to be blurred, you probably need to take control of all three major features of the camera, such as ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So what I'm using today is a Fuji X-Pro2 with a 23mm f1.4 lens on it. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pre-focus on the scene, and then I'm going to set the camera to manual focus, and then make sure that what I've got in focus is what I want. So I pre-focus, set the camera to manual, I can now punch in, and that looks all right. Let's do that again, punch in. I've got focus peaking turned on. So that looks about right. I'm going to start off with an aperture of f8, which should get a good amount of the scene in focus. And if it uh, if it turns out on review that that's not quite working so well, I might uh, go for a smaller aperture. But I'm going to start with f8. The next thing I'm going to do is set the shutter or the aperture, you know, the ISO the ISO 200. I want it to be the best possible quality. And then the last thing I want to check is the shutter speed. And I want it to be at least one second in duration, if not longer. And if you have a lot of light in the scene and you can't get your shutter speed slow enough, then you might have to use a neutral density filter that you screw on to the front of your lens. And that'll take some light out of the scene. As it is right now, this is late afternoon, there's no direct sunlight on the scene, and my shutter speed's at 1.6 seconds, so that looks like it's gonna work. So the last thing I wanna do is trip the shutter without touching the camera. So I'm gonna use a shutter release cable because the Fujis are kinda old school and that you can still screw a shutter release cable into the shutter button. And I'm just going to press and take the photo. And then let's look at the photo to see if the water's blurred enough. Zoom in. And yes, it is. So the next thing I want to do is check the histogram. Because if the histogram is indicating it's too bright or too dark, I'm going to take the photo again. So actually the histogram looks pretty good. So I think I'm set. This is a uh, ND4. And it's now resulted in a two second shutter speed. So I took a little bit of light out of the scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another photo with that filter on. Do it. Yeah, it's nice and blurred. So let's look at other elements of the scene because there is a uh, there's a swirl of leaves, and they would have moved too as part of the slow shutter speed. So that looks kind of interesting too. Neutral density filters come in different strengths, so you might carry two strengths in case you need it. This is an ND4. They also come in an ND8. I think it might come a little bit uh, stronger, but I've got an ND4 and an ND8, and you'll need them to match the filter diameter of the front of your lens. This is a 62 millimeter, and the lens I've got on has a 62 millimeter filter thread. If you have a lot of lenses with different um, filter diameters on it, you might buy the largest one that you have and then buy a bunch of step-up rings so you can mount a larger filter on a lens with a smaller filter diameter. But that's pretty much how you do blurred water. You just want to make sure that you get that shutter speed at one second. You'll set your ISO probably to the best quality, the lowest setting. You'll set your aperture to something that's going to render good depth of field, such as F8, maybe F11. And then look at your shutter speed. If your shutter speed is not slow enough, 
then you'll need to put a neutral density filter on your camera to knock it down. So that's pretty much it.